all right guys welcome to your eighth node.js tutorial in which i'm gonna show you what is a state of a module now it was kind of hard to decide the title of this video tutorial because uh, what i'm doing is essentially i'm just in introducing a concept which we have already done in the tutorial number five or six or seven maybe i don't remember but I'll be presenting you that concept in the Node.js fo Node form. So inside the script aid folder, I have these four files and let's just populate them. So inside our main module, let's, ri let's write some code. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say module.exports is an object and I'm just going to say this has um, let's say current URL as codam.com. All right. Now let's just go to module one and let's just say var um, module, and we can't use that because that kind of looks reserved. So we're gonna say module x require main module and we're gonna say console log crunch URL is module x dot crunch URL easy enough and this module two as well I'm gonna just paste the same code but the twist is that in module one i'm going to modify this property so pay attention so i'm just going to say module x dot current url is actually google so inside our main file now finally let's just call both of these so i'm just going to say require module one and require module 2 all right now let's just jump to the terminal and i'm just going to show you what's happening so i'm just going to say node or basically first open the folder node main file dot js okay so what's happening here first of all it says me current url google.com and then current url google.com again so what is happening is that basically when I call this file module one here, it runs this code. It picks up this main module. This module one picks up this main module and it modifies the current URL property in the next line. All right. It works as expected. It displays google.com. Okay. So in the next line, what happens is it says console log current URL and that is what appears in the terminal but in module 2 what happens we are actually not modifying any value here so why does it display google.com instead of codedam.com with which it should display so the reason is that these two modules are sharing this property and why they are sharing this property is the simple reason is that because of the JavaScript objects. So in JavaScript, I guess we have done that before. I showed you that as well in this terminal only. So in JavaScript, for instance, if I open the console and if I write, let's just say A equals to B equals to, let's just say a property, uh, assign it a value of one, and I change the value of A then B automatically gets changed but this is not the case if you're like doing strings or something like that so if I change A to something else B doesn't change so that thing is just associated with these objects similar in similar manner what happens here is that when you include module 1 refers to this module dot exports in the main module and then it modifies that property then module 2 what happens in module 2 is that 
it is still referring to the same object so it just gets that state from this module 1 now what happens if I just cut and paste this line in module 2 well everything would work as expected so if I just do again this now you can see that module 1 shows me codedam.com and module 2 shows me google.com but this problem would arise again if I create another module module 3 which would again make use of the same code without this so how do we solve this now this thing can be useful to you so this would be useful in the cases when you are developing applications which need to share the same data which is returned by a module so you can think of this like this so you can say that in your main module you can just create this object and pass all the you go you know you can say that you can pass all the static things which would not be changed whenever your module is used across various files so that might be useful in many applications like um, you are just creating some sort of a messaging application like whatsapp or hike or whatever it is so there's a group and you want to just keep the um, messages or uh, you can you can just say that you want to just keep the messages updated in every person's list or basically you know this thing can be used to just um, let's just say I just send this file to somebody else and I send this file to somebody else and send this file to somebody or just keep this file with me so what happens is that whenever they make changes to one file the changes in another file automatically gets reflected because of the shared state of modules so that was kind of an example you can think of how this is working so how to fix that well to fix that we'll make use of something called as the new keyword and this new keyword I'll be explaining in the next tutorial so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching